what's up 2023 it's gonna be a great year and a great walk today I think we put on like 15 or 20 cars a lot of work to do let's get it What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's walk around is going to be pretty fun. Hope y'all had a good holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. But we have loaded up here at the lot. Been off a long time it seems like. About 10 days. It's time to get back at it. I got tons of test drives to do this week. A little, little bit behind since we've been off. I only got one test drive done for this update today, but hopefully I'll get at least three or four more done before we leave the lot. You can go to maplemotors.com and look at our financing and shipping options, along with all the new inventory. There's 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot, and we update every Monday with new rides. For now, I'm just going to be walking around the lot showing all the new stuff. We're going to be telling you the year, the model, and the price of each car. If I don't mention something in the video, that means it's not available. Let's go ahead and get started here. Right up here in the front, you got a 1969 Chevelle. This one's priced at $25.9. I've already got the video on this one, so that one will be coming out today. Next to that is a 1968 Oldsmobile Cutlass, priced at $27.9. Next to that, a 1972 Chevelle. This one's priced $31.9. Just got this one in. It's going to be a pretty sweet ride. I haven't got too much information out on it yet. I'm going to have to dissect the motor and everything. It's uh, priced at $39.9. It's a 70 Chevelle. I do believe it does have the 454 big block in it. But we'll be checking that first thing. Next to that, another new one, a 1957 Chevrolet 210. It's priced at $35.9. How about a 1962 Chevrolet Impala? Priced at $34.9. Uh, the front row has got some awesome color on it today completely shake it up and changed every car out all right we're gonna be running down the right side of the lot now and then into the showroom Right here we got a 1967 Buick Skylark priced at $21.9. Got another new one, a 1966 Chevrolet Impala. This is the Crew Cab, $14.9. A 1966 Buick Riviera 12.9. It's that good price range. Sixty-one Cadillac sedan. This is a crew cab as well with the four doors. 14.9.
Next hit, 1973 El Camino. Priced at 12 9 Ended up selling this truck over the holidays. 69 long bed. Priced at $69.50. But it's already sold. This one next to it is available in 1991. A Pontiac Firebird. Got the T-tops. Priced at $99.50. Okay, so unfortunately the cars over here are all sold. We're going to come up through this area. This is a 64 Pontiac Catalina. And it's priced at $22.9, marked down from $24.9. Next to the old Catalina is a 1994 Chevrolet Suburban, priced at $79.50. Made it down another row here. You can see all the Mustangs out in the middle. We're going to be getting to those here in a minute. For now, let's jump off in the showroom and see what we got loaded up in there. Well, it looks like Pops went through the whole room over the holidays and redid everything. You got a lot of new stuff in here. You should come check it out. It's right next door to Maple Motors. This is a Hot Wheels collection room. Everything is priced as marked, and you can see the individual prices at Jim Fight's Hot Wheels channel. I'll be sure to jump on that this week, make a solid room video. It looks like he's redone every wall. So, and this table here. This was a dollar table. I think they moved over to here, the dollar cars. He added a lot. So yeah, we're gonna have to make a new video showing off all the new stuff. Hey, he added some General Lees. Okay, let's get back out there. Oh, man. These are sweet. Yeah, I haven't seen some of this stuff. Okay, let's go out and see what we got in the showroom. Okay, so in the showroom, it's a bit messy right now because uh, water pipes busted this week. Not in here, but in our t-shirt room. So we had a, had a little bit of t-shirts in there, and every single one of them got soaked. So that's going to be a huge mess for a while. <laughs> if you do want t-shirts, they are available on our website. And that's strictly usually where we sell them. Um, so check them out. we got multiple things to pick from. Over here, 68 Pontiac GTO. Priced at $35.9. Yeah, luckily there's no pipes in this area over here to bust. I guess it wouldn't hurt these cars too much. As long as the windows were up, but... It did mess up the t-shirts. A lot of them got stained too. Right next to that, a 69 Chevelle priced at $39.9. And then you got a custom 89 model S10 pickup truck. And this one's priced at $12.9. Okay, everything else in the showroom other than these two cars is not, the, these are all sold. This one's going home, that one's going home as well. Mustang back there is sold and the Corvette in the corner is sold. But the 72 Chevrolet Nova sitting here, it is a Yinko clone. It's just got the Yinko stickers and stuff on it. And it's priced at 36 dollars And of course, I showed this one last week or two weeks ago thinking, oh, it's going on the website because it had price tag stuff on it. It just now made it. This one's priced at $39.9, and it's a 1934 Chevrolet sedan. I mean, this thing looks awesome.
as you can see, those are personal rides. They're going home. Um, this is already mm -hmm. sold. This is a lot of t-shirts that we had cleaned and uh, dry cleaned. And now they have to be all gone through and folded. This is a 64 Chevy Corvette. It's already sold. Y'all seen it. There's videos out of the test drive. Let's get on back out here. We got to get the showroom cleaned up after this crazy fiasco. Pipes bursting in the, in the room over there. But we still got some more cars to show you. Right here outside the showroom is a 1975 Chevrolet Impala, and we've got it priced $20,900. And of course, we got a 1973 Plymouth Duster sitting here. This thing looks sweet. Priced at $17,900. Coming around the side of the office here at $25,900. It's a 1941 Ford Coupe. Test drive video is out and running. Go check it out. Okay. Whole nother lineup of cars here. We'll start with the Camaro on the end. It's a 75 Chevrolet Camaro, priced at $19,900. And of course, next to it is a 73 Z28, priced at $30,900. You got a 67 Pontiac Firebird. This one's pretty fast. You should check the video out. It's exciting. It's at 29.9. This one's got the ghost flames. Roll bar in there. Bucket seats. Floor shifter. Little fatties on the back. What about a 68 Camaro? This one's priced at 27.9. Got a bunch of vets. That's a 75 model sitting here with the T-tops. Priced at $99.50. Next to it, 1979 with the T-tops. Priced at $15.9. And then right here on the corner, a 1969 Chevrolet Corvette. This one's got the four-speed chrome bumper car priced at Okay, now we have a ton of Mustangs out here in the middle of the lot. We'll walk over to the other side. Picked up the old saline. It was a personal ride. Starting up in the corner here. We've got a gold convertible 70 Ford Mustang, priced at $24,900. Right next to it is a 1968, another Ford Mustang, $22,900. And then the 65 model Mustang next to it at 35.9. 
and a 66 model sitting right next to it at 29.9. It's pretty cool having all these different year model Mustangs. Right in front of the car a lot too. 65 fastback in gold. 34 nine. And then right next to it is a six cylinder car and it's a three speed. 65 fastback at 32.9. Pretty cool. What about a 01 Sailing Mustang? This one's priced at 18.9. Five speed. Yet we still have one more sitting right here. Just picked it up, another new one. It's a 1967 Ford Mustang convertible priced at 37 dollars Guys, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out. We'll walk through the lot one more time. And as we're going through this second round, be sure to pick out your favorite ride. Put it down in the comments. It helps this channel out quite a bit, leaving more comments, sharing the video, and hitting like. I think maybe one of the best things to do is to comment. With that being said, out of the whole update, it's going to be a hard one for me to pick what my favorite is. You know, I'm a Chevelle guy. I'm a Camaro guy as well. I like pretty much a little bit of everything, but I haven't drove it yet. But my eyes leaning on the green 70 Chevelle on the front row as maybe my top pick. Just personally. Again, you can go to maplemotors.com, check out finance and shipping. It's easy to get approved. You can also go through your own bank if you would like. Yeah, this is the one that I like out of the update, I believe. The 57 is pretty cool. I think I'm leaning on that one. That'll probably be my first test drive today as well. Because I do have quite a bit of videos to do. Which is fine. I've had off for like 10 days. I'm ready to rock. I think this is the longest I've went without posting a YouTube video. But the holidays were full of family action. It was pretty good. Hopefully y'all had a good one. Other than coming up here and working on the the showroom, we haven't been up here too much through the break. Got to enjoy the snow with the kids. How did that impact y'all? I know a lot of the states up north really got hit hard by the snow here this last weekend. It's a huge sold section back there. Whole bunch of sold cars waiting to get shipped out. The guy's finishing up the t-shirt room in there. Try to get it right. As of right now, it's stripped. It doesn't have any walls. They started on the ceilings, but we had to rip everything out. But then there is test drive videos for the majority of the cars that I show in the video. Just all the new inventory that we got in today, which is 
There was there was close to twenty cars on that list. I know because we got a lot ready before we closed up for the New Year's. A lot of good stuff too. I think it's going to be easy test drives. That's what I'm saying. Of course, if I didn't talk about any cars in the background, that means they're sold. I'll sell you everything that I possibly can. But uh, if I didn't bring it up in the video, it's just not available. A lot of inventory does sell before I can list it. This is true. As soon as I post the cars, or as soon as I get them in, people are already up here walking the lot, looking at everything. This is a big sold section. Kind of look around and see what I'm talking about. Some of these cars you've never seen before, and they just didn't make the website or the videos. Ain't that right, Billy? What's that? A lot of these cars don't make the website. I'd like to get videos on all of them, but it's impossible sometimes. Walking on up to the front again. We are a family owned business. Grandfather started this back in 83 father come in uncles came in and then it was me and now I think my sister's gonna work her way up here she's been in a couple videos slowly learning the routine and I've got her working a little bit on Instagram so if you're talking to somebody on Instagram that is her she's helping me out with the comments there's usually a lot to get to We have a TikTok, a Facebook, Snapchat, and an Instagram. And of course, YouTube here. It's probably the number one for uh, videos and people getting the information they need on these cars. I actually look for the flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. You can see all the good, but you can't see all the bad. And that's why I'm here. I'll point it out so you know what you're getting. And I'll continue to do my best with your help, don't forget, hit subscribe, share this video, and comment. Like I said, that's one of the best things you could do. You can hit the notification bell and it'll let you uh, know every time I post a video. Getting ready to get flooded with some uh, new test drives. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.